If you are already a follow on our channel and you are a streamer and a content creator, you probably use OBS Studio, if you not probably Streamlabs or any other similar broadcast software. Well, there's a new kid in town called Meld. It is also a free software for broadcasting and recording, but with a very unique feature, which is some effects in plugins that you probably use in OBS, well, they are native inside Meld. Hello, my name is Rodrigo and welcome. Mel team sent me an invitation to test and use Mel that is in beta at this moment. By the way, if you wanted to apply to get this free software for free while it is in beta, go to www.meldstudio.com, join the Windows beta if you are on Windows and they will email you with the access to download the software so you can start using it. If you are a Mac user, there is no need for invitation. Just select download for Mac OS and that's it. So let's go ahead and take a look on Meld. When you download and open Meld for the first time, we're going to start from the left right here. We got layers, which is basically your sources for each scene. So you can edit. You just click plus and uh, select all those type of sources and layers that you wanted to edit. Then you come to scenes. This part right here is the scenes from your stream, your uh, startup, your be right back. Your game scene is all over here. You can just add it and you can add it and you also can rename it. So and you can delete it as well. Follow up down here is all your audio mixer, which you can add all your audio mixers as well down here. That's where it's going to be located. Also over here is a new thing called inspector, which is going to be all the effects and all the uh, customization for each of those layers that you can add it to melt. And then the blank right here and black basically is your canvas where you're going to adjust all your scenes and your layers as well. Follow up right up here. We got how many disk space are you using where you style melt. And over here, we got the 60 FPS or 30 FPS, whatever you're going to select it to uh, make sure that you are hitting the FPS that you want to stream and record. And those two buttons, very simple to go live and also to record. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, camera. So I'm going to show you how to do on layer. So each is the source. The first thing you wanted to do to add your camera uh, source, you're going to go to video device. And you're going to select it, which camera do you want to use it in my case i'm going to select my main camera which is in cam link 4k and you select and you will see me right here so to actually just go ahead you can actually move anywhere as you can see the canvas have uh, this little line here that actually just if you wanted to put in the middle this is pretty nice um i also want to say that those uh, corners right here pretty cool thing you can make those round corners like this, uh, just like that. Pretty nice. And also you can double click and you can cut and make it any shape you wanna like that. For example, make square and then you can make rounds corner like that as well. Super simple. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and reset everything, reset crop like this, and you can go ahead, right click and fit to canvas to go full canvas just like that. So this is pretty cool. Very easy to do it. All these uh, round corners is all include on melt as native plugins already. One thing that we're going to start from here is explain how you can connect your uh, Twitch or YouTube or any platform to stream on this program meld. So we're going to go to files. We're going to go to preference. And here is basically the settings for your uh, for your stream. Over here, you're gonna you see that is on my canvas is 1080p, but you can put whatever canvas that you feel like. And I don't think you can put it in uh, manually. You can just have to choose one of those for now. And the output will be the same. You cannot change anything in there as well, as far as I know. The frame is easy. They're 60 or 30. And over here, the stream server, which will be the stream key where you're going to actually the stream key right here and the stream server for your uh, if you're doing Twitch or YouTube. In case in the Twitch, when you click over here, you will come a page 
to recommend where is going to be the nearest server and uh, whatever you are located in uh, any part of the world you just go ahead and copy that and you paste over here and now so on twitch you can go and click here and it should give you a key also for your stream you copy and paste over there which this is make it really simple to um, add your stream right here if you need to add this to youtube you basically has to go to your youtube you go to right here to the uh, upper right corner click on a little camera plus go live and once you do that you're going to come with this screen right here it's coming up it's loading there we go you come to this screen and you're gonna copy right here streaming key copy right here and now you're gonna keep the stream url as well over there on meld which you're gonna put over here and you're ready to stream the video uh, bit rate and twitch is giving all these options actually six thousand for twitch you cannot go more than that but if you put in on youtube you can go up to twenty five thousand. can go ahead and stream on 2k 4k or 1080p on youtube as well here it got a hardware accelerating encoder which is nice that you can click that if you have uh, any nvidia or amd gpu so they can use the right encoder for your gpu instead of your cpu and over here you can select this locations where you record what kind of format we have a quick time mkmv and also flv as well right here and the video bit rate and audio rate is going to be the same on the stream you cannot really change this as right now and where you want to screenshot your canvas so the plugins right here also have uh, more stuff they're going to add it is where you're going to find the plugins the audio system audio you're going to always to leave system audio like that or you can use it when you want you want smart guides basically is the lines that you see in canvas you can change the line color and also how you want to snap the threshold and the transitions this is where all the transitions happen you can use cut you can use fade you can use morph and you can use move transition which is basically the plugin movie transition from excel to also include on meld right here all right now we're back right here on the main screen and now we're going to go here on the, the top so I can show you what those things are. If you click in file, you're going to see that you can save. You got arrows. Arrows is something new. If you click in arrows, this doctor, a section doctor will appear. And here will tell you if he, something crashes, what happened. Uh, it will tell here what happened, like if you crash it for what reason. Over here is to reload and also the preference that which is settings as we went through already. Edit is copy and paste view is take a screenshot for whatever you have right here you can do that right here and help about which is show you what is the latest version which you will latest version that we are showing in this video is a beta version which is a 0.6.73 right here on the screen and also you can also going to join them and discord by the way join this team on discord they are fantastic they can help you with anything if you get already an invitation and you're using for testing, don't forget to tell them what is the problem, is your feedback. So important, especially now that they are in develop to get this in full version and it's going to be fantastic as already is right now. So we also got about, which is a show, you know, of course, the version. Um, and also actually there's two about over here should be only one. Uh, reviews a logs explore means that actually shows where is the files of your um, of your uh, or, or mail is installed on your computer which is really good it takes directly to the directory uh, so it's pretty good so right here the first thing we I wanted to show is you can rename it all the layers you double click and you just put anything I will put main cam main camera like that and you can rename it that easy right there uh, if you right click, you can rename as well. We can copy the layer. You can duplicate the layer, the layer, uh, the layer, uh, the hide, lock, uh, stretch the canvas, fit to canvas, and delete. Now, if you're going to the layer right here and uh, to add a layer, you're gonna see different types of layers that you can add. You can do the video device, which is your camera, the display capture, which will be the display of your. Uh, computer your screen the media source will be anything uh, videos uh, image brown source is going to be uh, basically the majority of things that if you use stream elements or any type of brown sources to add to your stream uh, duplicator is basically duplicates 
the layer from one of your scenes to add to another scene. So basically you can click a duplicator, you select a scene that you wanted to duplicate the layer, and then, then you're going to uh, select the layer, which in case is this came is the main camera that I'm in already here. So you can do that. I'm just going to delete it. You also can add a text as well over here. And when you add a text, you got so many other controls for the text right here, the size, the color, you type what you want over here. That's pretty extensive. This part right here where you have uh, the inspectors uh, part of the meld section in your, in your right that you can actually customize the way you want the text. And also you have also markdown and also in the rectangle as well. So if you want to create any rectangular, you can do this. You can put it as a background. Uh, you can also do the corners, uh, anything like that. So uh, you also can use this to add for your uh, effects if you need to use that as well. All right, so all this you can add it to, to the layers for your stream at this moment. Of course, they're probably gonna add more stuff uh, with the time to add to your stream. But uh, basically what you have right now is enough for you to start streaming, getting all the scenes together that you need, the major layers that you're gonna need. The scene is basically the same thing OBS Studio does is the scene is that you can put any any scene over here. Now, one thing I don't want to tell you that they, they don't have yet nest scene like a OBS. There are things that are going to work with the time, but I'm sure that in the future, they're going to add a couple of things that will make something similar as well. Now we're going to go over here in audio, which is one of the most important thing as well to add. Right now I'm using with my Go XLR. So how I add the audio to, from the Go XLR, I just going to uh, select audio plus right and then i'm gonna go here on uh device since in my audio is the go xlr i'm gonna start adding my microphone which is chat mic for go xlr and now you can see that my microphone is picking up right here and you can also name the track which is for example my microphone so main mic right there and if i wanted to hear myself I press Q, but I don't need it because I already uh, using my mixer to hear myself, but you can use, you click Q and it's monitor yourself. So this is basically the same way in uh, OBS when you need to monitor yourself, monitor on, this is Q right here. If you click edit, you're gonna see they have options over here, which is mono. If you wanted to use it as mono, you have a left and right over here, channel one, channel two for speakers. And also the delay, if you have uh, any delay on your audio, you can use it, this delay to synchronize your audio and video. And this is kind of fairly new. They put ex exclude from Twitch VOD track VOD, which means that if you select this, this track is not going to be on your VODs on Twitch. Super simple. You just click it to turn on and that's it. So every single track does have this feature. So most people are going to probably use this from music and background music so and also you can add here i'm gonna add another another audio which is my main broadcast stream mix which is go xlr here in this right here it does this is basically where if you have a go xlr or a mixer and you have everything connected there for example i have a music and if you're gonna turn on my music right now you'll be able to hear my music playing right there so this is the adventure to have a mixer and one thing together is one track right here and you can name basically go xlr uh and that's it you can, that, that's how easy it is to maintain everything the way you want right here when you start adding brown sources you also they are also going to be option to add audio from those brown sources means that if you're going to add any alerts from stream elements when you add over here, brown source is going to add a, another track for your audio. And then you can go ahead and turn this audio on and off. And you can basically uh, turn, um, you know, higher or lower the volume the way you want it on your stream. So it's a very simple, very simple way to put things over here. I'm going to show you in the end of this video how my, uh, my whole setup look like that I already did and we're going to be streaming as well next week after this video release so check it out on our channel don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to hit the bell also to check it out when we go in live we're going to actually we're going live with this uh software and also I'm going to go around and show everything that I did so far on uh, 
on the layout another super cool thing that i wanted to show you as well unrelated to your camera right here to how you want to do the borders and and uh and uh, as i show in the beginning how you can actually make the round corners with actually just pushing those corners like that you also can now they just released on a new um update for the beta you can now use individual corners so if you go down over here on the on the right hand side you're gonna see that the video have a different customization for whatever size that you wanted to do it but they have right here one say individual corner radius if you click over there and you go down here you can basically if you wanted to push like that see you can individually make this corner like that or this one like this or maybe like that or I don't know you can basically make your corners completely different like this so it's just pretty cool nice thing that they added this native for your stream and for example right here down we have effects if you wanted to add for example a border you can this is all the effects that you can use it i know some of them i haven't been using all of it but for example you have if you wanted to make sure this is blur you can just click right here and there we go and you click right here as well on the settings and you can make the blur horizontal vertical you can choose as well if you want to less blur more blur you know it's pretty nice and you can just toggle off toggle on if you want or just delete it but if you wanted to do borders like i say you're gonna go right here to glow styles and there we go you can add borders like that you can change the color of the borders whatever color you want it for example i'm gonna go with the i don't know the kind of red and then you can select the opacity of the border you can select the size of the border or you can select the choke of the border as well and right here say outer glow you can center uh the glow or you can inner glow so whatever you wanted to do it it's pretty nice all right so right now you can see that basically all these scenes that are being creating already if you can look in the corner i have right here on the on the my uh right next to my face the uh game source scene which is my playstation right there is gaming capture as well uh so i, I added this with a round corner and also with uh uh with the uh drop shadow you can also put a drop shadow if you go over here by uh the device you get drop shadow and you got all the third ways that you can do the drop shadow also you know some of the alerts some of things that i use in my stream as well with all brownson sources as well right here and i create a starting soon a trailer before the the, the stream start uh the game chat and if i go to my game scene this is how it gonna appear to me right there if you can see the the uh, the transition that i've been using if you go to files and preference and go transitions the transition i've been using basically is move transition in our cubic 1400 the speed that when you do the transition and midpoint this is how i acquire, be able to get this type of transition if you can see you can look around that's my uh, i put it also my game uh my camera just like that as well you can do all this inside uh meld also if you go to be right back scene this is the be right back scene that i have actually they actually have a, this kind of background back uh, be right back scene on their discord so don't forget to join the discord as well and my end scene just like that as well if you can see my end scene uh, all this can be done all meld as well uh, if you can see as well here and it's starting soon this is also on meld uh the trailer like that as well uh and the chat scene like that although meld is still on beta right now for windows and mac versions this look really good and have so much potential to improve that you may want to look close and maybe choose meld as your main broadcast software in the near future when they release the full version if you would like it to see any other videos related to streamer setups or any tutorials just go ahead and check out those videos that we have on our channel really appreciate you watch all the way to the end and i'll see you on the next video